Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers, and I am on a mission. Um, <laughs> um, through Miss Paint-A-Lot's group, uh, Fiona, and um, the links to her uh, YouTube channel will be below. And um, what she's doing is uh, what's called Mr. Green the Sequel. Last uh, January, we did a January Daily, and the book that she used was a green book by Mr. Green and so we just called the book Mr. Green. So now this is Mr. Green the sequel. Some people were able to get another Mr. Green book um, and some found one in a different color. I was unable to get one. So what I'm going to use instead is this nice hardcover. Nope, I just made the dog bark. Oz, Oz. Okay, so now that you know my na dog's name is Oz. Anyway, it's this very nice hardcover mixed media book. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. The page's dimensions are 8 by 11 and a quarter. So it's kind of a funny size. It's a funny size for using eight and a half by 11s because you trim them down to with a white border. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I better, I think I better just in case, I think I better push this forward some. Okay, um, so that's that. We're gonna put that to the side for right now because we're gonna work on paper, obviously, but um, the prompt for today is uh, Shabby Chic and the um, she's using designers but you don't have to you can use whoever you want this just happened to be Wonders by Wink Day which is my friend Kyung Shotwell by coincidence and the link to her store will be down below and her YouTube channel and um, they used um, a freebie that she had made and had posted um, but I decided to use uh, Romantic Roses, which is another one of her kits, and um, it's fairly shabby. And so um, you'll see that I'm on day one. I'm a little behind. Day four was today. So number one was Shabby Chic. Number one was Wonders by Wink. So off we go. And I have these nifty new containers for each project that I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now, you're going to need your bucket of butterflies. I don't know if you have one of these or not, but if you don't, you need one. You need a bucket of butterflies. And I've already picked out two butterflies, or as I like to call them, flutterbys, because I believe that's what they should have been called in the beginning because that's what they do now what we're gonna do let's move all this stuff out of the way I've pre-done some stuff just because it's gonna take a little bit and um, yeah so you're gonna need a full-sized piece of eight and a half by eleven this is cream colored and then I uh, trimmed it off just a little bit to make it fit um, Mr. Green here Mr. Black is going to go this way so the pages need to fit this way I have to trim them this way and then they're a little short this way but I'm just going to center everything okay I'm debating on leaving the, fi the first page blank so that I can decorate it um, looks like I've already chipped the black on the corner there we go um, yeah to to decorate for um, you know saying what the project is and I'm thinking I will do that so I'm gonna go this has 40 pages in it so I'm gonna do this now this is very thick it's eight um, I think it's 110 paper but what I want to do somehow 
is remember not to use it. So I'm going to go like this, and we're going to work on page two, which is only page two because page one is going to be our cover sheet. All right, so this is the paper we're going to use. Um, this is the kit paper. It's very pretty. The other side, this is going to be our paper for here, and it matches here. But we're going to be using this side so it's not so much all at once. Okay? Um, the goal here is, um, oh, you're also going to need some stamps. I have some roses. Go figure. I used um, Tattered Rose, which is very light, so I had to kind of ink it, ink it, ink it to get everything inked. Um, and I'm still going to have to ink a little bit more, so I'm not going to put that away. I've got, since it's shabby chic, I've got this ribbon, and I've got these flat back pearls. I probably should have lace, but um, I'm not sure I have any lace that I can glue in the center. Let's see what I've got here. That isn't too big. That doesn't show through, because if I go to glue, oh, the pearls will cover it, won't they? Because what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put the ribbon, then some lace, and then some flat back pearls on top of that, and that, that doesn't scream shabby chic. I do not know what does. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to look at, I don't know if you can see this, but I got this on Amazon. And it was very, very inexpensive. So the only problem is, is that if I make this too thick, this is going to be a large pocket. And then this card, this writing card, I printed it on the inside with another page from the kit. This large writing card is going to hang here like this. And I don't want to build up so much stuff that the card sticks out, which the ribbon is already looks like it's pushing it. Oh, that's my pencil. You know what I mean? I don't want it to stick out too far. So um, we'll have to check it as we go along. I don't know. Maybe just ribbon and the pearls. About ribbon and the pearls. That's really not shabby chic, is it? That's ribbon and pearls. All right. So let's um, let's find a lace that isn't very thick, as in. Oh, that's nice. And look how thin it is. And we could glue it along this top a little bit. Or we could glue it right down the center since we're going to run our pearls down the center. That's very delicate and very thin. You can see the green ribbon through it. I think that'll do it. Let's use this one. Maybe we'll end up putting the card inside the pocket instead of, um, but then I should have made it longer. I don't want to trim the pocket down. You know, I thought I had this all planned out. I really, really did. Because um, I was trying not to make a bazillion hour video. That's why I pre-did some of this stuff. Um, so, okay, let's just put the lace, the pearls, and the ribbon over here, and we'll deal with it once we get the page constructed, which is not going to be hard at all, actually. Um, I'm going to decorate the card as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go all the way around. That would be the way to go, but um, I don't want to cover up my roses, so I'm thinking of just decorating the top of the card. Okay. So, um, I've already pre-cut, pre-inked, and pre-rounded the corners on the card. In other words, except for decorating, the card is done. So let's put our pocket on. I wonder if we should stamp something across here first. It's a little big. Oh no, that's the edge of the stamp. No, it's still big.
Mm. There's some ephemera that comes with the kit that's um, Fussy Cut Roses. So I may come back and add those, but I'm not going to do it right now because we are going to have so much lusciousness going on. I thought maybe just the the cream colored paper would be enough. You do not want to know how many hours I've spent on this trying to get it figured out. Um, you know, there's these little rosebuds. They're kind of pretty. I don't know, I'm not very good at stamping, but I've got the stamp, and I've got my stamping pad, and I've got my ink. So I've got it ready to go in case I need it. Okay, well I'm actually gonna use it on this stuff anyway, to tell you the truth. So let's put our pencil there for now. Let's set our ink to the side for now. All right, let's get our glue out. I'm wondering, I've rounded the corners on everything else. I wonder if I should round the corners on the pocket. Hmm. Let's take a look. What do you guys think? Somebody tell me quick. Once I round them, they're rounded. Oh, no, because I'm going to put the ribbon and the lace on. Okay. So, I want this to be the top, so I'm going to hold on to it. This is not how she did her page, by the way. I'm just doing my take on her. I think she did a, I think she did a writing card. You know, I've been working on this so long, I don't. That's terrible. I just watched the video. Well, actually, I was partially in the live, but not completely. And um, it started on the 1st of September, which was a Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm sorry to say that there was um, a death in my family. And um, I didn't make that um, class, I guess you'd call it. Let me look at it this way. I looked at it across the bottom. Yeah, that looks good. Anyway, and so, um, yeah. So actually, I, I um, crafted on Thursday morning. Um, Found out the bad news uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, Friday morning I didn't make it. And then now today is Saturday. So that's day four. And I'm on day one. Okay, so cheerfulness back. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to just hang this from here. And that gives you room still to put stuff in the pocket. We're not going to put anything in the pocket. We are going to leave it up to you, the viewer to decide what you want to put in your pocket. Okay, this seems to be pulling loose. Did I not glue it down well enough? I really like this this page out of this. There's two types of pages in this kit. Some are the regular, you know, they're not they don't have the crackle and the, the kind of the whitewashed um, overlay on them. And then some are, are brighter, and so um, I had to. I I didn't have to, but I mean, I decided to use these, and um, so I had access to only about a third of the kit. So that's why. Uh, but I really love this page, and I really don't want to cover the roses up with a bunch of stuff, even though it's shabby chic. This is going to be shabby chic light the light version okay so now we are going to we're going to put a pocket on our pocket so we're going to put this here and I've inked it it's five and a half inches long um, let me let me get out my ruler here 
this is going to be 11. This is 7 and 5 eighths. This pocket is five and a half, and I just grabbed a scrap. Yep, it's two inches. I don't know how that happened. The pocket worked out to be six, six and an eighth, and then it's just a smidge shorter than the uh, the paper because it's as long as it's as the paper will be when you print it out and trim the white off the edges. That's where the white would would be. Okay. So those are the measurements that we're working with. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that in the very beginning. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of crowding issues here now. Okay, so now we're gonna glue our pocket on. And I'm looking at it. No, it's fine. And you see, I'm not putting it right on top of this. I'm doing, I'm going for a little layered look. I'm trying to do that on purpose, on poipus. Now, what I'm wondering is if I, sh I think I'm gonna put the rose this way so then I can decorate across here. So there is gonna be some shabbiness going on. I haven't totally run away from what I'm supposed to be doing. There's all different levels of shabby chic. And um, the paper itself with the crackled roses and the, um, kind of worried about my dog. He's been sick today, literally. Okay, so let's. that on there. I know I stop talking when I'm thinking, don't I? Alright, let's take a look at this. Okay. Alright, so we're moving right along. Now, for the pocket, I have these two cards. These are ephemera from the kit, so I didn't do anything fancy ahead of time. I rounded the corners to match the rounded corners on the card. This is just a piece of this paper once it's trimmed, folded in half, printed on both sides. That's all this is, so that's why I didn't go into any measurements or anything. So, um, but they, they're kind of flimsy and they're not on cream colored paper. So what I thought I would do is put the glue lid back on but what I thought I would do, let's set this card out of the way. And then I thought we would back this onto the cream colored paper and then um, cut it out. If I realized I was gonna do that, well, it would have been too thick for my corner rounder if I'd done it that way anyway. So let's take this part and set it to the side with our card. No bad jokes yet today. I I'm slacking off. I am. I'm slacking off today. In a bit somber of a mood, so not really big on joking today. I apologize. Apologize for bringing my family business into the business. But, um, it makes a difference sometimes. So sometimes you have to uh, talk about things you don't really want to talk about. So there we go. Crafting makes me feel better. So that's what I'm doing. Keeps your mind and your hands busy. And I know probably no one else is recording theirs, but I thought this would be a nice um, little set of videos since I'm not doing pages exactly like hers. Um, I'm not expecting you guys to follow along in, in a, you know, a daily. Um, and I'm probably not going to put these out daily. 
I'm going to, um, I meant to put that up against the edge. I didn't have to cut out as much. Okay. Um, and I probably won't put these out daily, but I will make one for each day, which is 30 days in September. So we will have 30 days worth of videos. What do you think about that? I don't know. It's kind of scary for me. Where are my scissors? Oh, they're way over there. Let's see if I can reach them. If you put your scissors away, when you're done with them, you can reach them. I was cutting open a box of bleach, powdered bleach. And I left the scissors way over there. So apparently that was bad joke number one. So I'm going to cut this around. I'm probably going to have to re... I had inked them and then I realized they were not on the right color paper. I could have printed out two more, but why? I was originally going to use this cream colored paper to um, make a writing card um, for the pocket, which I guess technically could still do just because we're putting these um, pockets on, or tags on here. This one has a saying on it by Maya Angelou, who I happen to like. Wow, I butchered that corner. I don't think I'm going to try to make it any worse. Um, and it says, in all the world, there's no heart for me like yours. In all the world, there's no love for you like mine. I love it. So let's see how many corners of this I can butcher. I cut too close to the card is what I did. So we're just going to cut these out like so. And like I said, this um, Tattered Rose is a very nice color um, in the tan family. Um, it is a bit difficult to get it to show, even though when it does show, it's the color that you wanted all along. But um, I do love it. All right, so there's that put this over in my scrap pile which landed on top of Mr. Black Mr. Green Black Black Green I don't know so let's ink these real quick it makes them more sturdy as well you know with that just that one layer they're not very sturdy. Now I have inked these so it shouldn't be too bad to ink them again real quick just in case I caught some of the edge. I know inking is the most fun thing to watch. I think I'm, I think it's my camera that's off. Let's see if I can do this without murdering everything. Let's see. Yeah, now you can see what I'm doing. And a little bit of excitement, wasn't it? I was moving around, flying around in the air. So you see how light that is. You almost have to really go down hard on it, but um, or just do it more than once. There's that corner I myrtleized. I don't know how old you are, but you may not recognize the word myrtleized. <laughs> oh. Okay. And this one's just a pretty tattered rose rose. Yeah, I've already done this here. I think I'm all right. A little bit up here.
as you know, my um, computer will not transfer files any bigger than a couple gigabytes. So we have to pause every 30 minutes to start a new video. So I've got these cards done. We've discussed what we're going to do. We've put our two pockets on. So I think I'm going to pause you here before we start decorating. And then we will start up again um, in part two. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, we're back. I had to wait for the camera there for a second. Um, so let's start with the easiest part, which I think would be maybe stamping a couple of stamps in the corners. Probably could ha use a smaller stamp block for this. Wonder if this one's too small. We'll see. Where's that little rosebud? Here it is. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that'll fit on there. We'll ink it up. We don't want it super dark. It, this ink isn't very dark either, so it doesn't really look like... I can't tell, in other words, how much ink is on there and if everything is inked. So I guess we'll find out. Do I want to put it like that? Yeah, I think I do. Very pretty. It's very, very light. Very, very light. Now, on the other one, should I do it in the other way? What do you guys think? You know, this pad, even though it's new, it just doesn't, it, the ink is so light on it. I think I want to do it the same. I think I moved it. No, I didn't. There we go. I like it. I like that they match. Get my little towel and wipe it off. Okay. Clean stamps are always happy stamps. Put him back where he belongs. Okay, I'll put these up here. You never know, you never know. I like stamping. I can maybe think of somewhere else to stamp. Alright, so now they're going to go in here. I'm going to put the one with the writing in the front. So, now, those are going to go there. However, we're going to decorate across here. So, we're going to take this off. So it's now time to decide what kind of blinging up we're going to do. Um, on a side note, when I inked this, I inked this top edge. And I'm wondering, I think I'll ink along in here too. Not a lot. Even though it looks like I'm going at it, this, once again, is not the... Um, darkest ink. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the part about where we have the butterflies. So we can't forget those. Look at this one. Isn't this just gorgeous? I'm really having trouble with the camera angle today. I apologize. I think it might be too close. I don't know. Anyway, so um, let's decorate this and see whether we need to put our card inside. You know what I mean? Or let it flap over, which is what I want to do. 
Ooh, good catch, Terry. All right, so let's put our ribbon on. Okay, so now I need to trim this end because it isn't straight. Now, if I were if I were really shabby chicking it out, I would put the ribbon and the lace all the way around. But um but we're not. <laughs> So, um, it's there. The reason I'm doing it this way, well, I guess I will be able to come in and trim it. Let's hope. If I have to, I'll leave the little drop of glue off on the end. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty with that? Sorry about that. Ah, Get out of there. He was over in with the laundry area. I don't know what he was doing. Like a child. Like a child. Of course, I stood up and yanked my mic cord off. Having a little bit of difficulties, technical difficulties today. Losing my scissors, losing my dog, losing my mind. Yes, to all those who just said, but Terry... You had already lost your mind. Well, I would like to have thought that at one point I may have found it again. But I'm really not sure. How would you know? If you had lost your mind, how would you know? <laughs> I'm just asking. on there. This ribbon is easy to work with. I really like it. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get any more or not. I got it at the dollar, dollar store. See, I left this unglued so that I could cut it. She says confidently. Looks like it's a little long. Of course it is. Let me pull this back up a little bit. Oh, I'm having so much trouble. Probably because I was trying to figure out what the dog was doing under the table. It sounded like he was eating something. Oh, well, okay. Maybe we can use that for something. I'm taking glue. Okay, I'm going to have to put you on hold. Okay, this is why I had to put you on hold. My dog eats paper. He found this piece of paper on the floor and look what he was doing. He was having lunch. So apparently something didn't get thrown all the way into the trash. Would you stop? He's just snuffling around everything. Every trash can, every everything. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is one of the most disjointed, disorganized videos, I guess. Um, I have a friend that I was keeping track of today, um, and I heard the computer ding. I wanted to make sure it wasn't them, but it was. And they're not feeling well. So, okay, so we're going to put this ribbon down here as well. Okay, so let's get this measured out. I think all of you were probably yelling at me to do it this way. I'm not very good with, with cloth and lace and things. Not very used to doing it. Oh, what do you think? Do you think it looks better with the little bit of the pocket showing? No, I don't want to cover the rows. Plus, I want to match the top. Okay. So, we're going to do that on here. I didn't think to look to see if there was a right side and a wrong side. There's not really. So I was going to have to match it whether it was wrong side or, or not. So I'll put this down. Okay. Gosh, I, I like it like that. <laughs> but we we have to bling it up, people. So now this is my dilemma. I think we need the lace. I got this lace out too. This is kind of pretty. It's a little bit shabbier than the other one. I don't know. Yeah. This one's a little shabbier, I think. Let's go with this one. Now, each one of these had a pin. However, I now only have one pin. This pin was for something else. But I'm using it for this now. Oh, the pin is still in on that one. That's why. What is wrong with these pins? Are they not sharp? Here we go. What in the world? Okay, so let's go with this. Very pretty. My friend Lisa over at Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling sent me some lace, but um, I didn't have a piece that was long enough or I would have used it. She sent me some beautiful lace. I'll put a link to her shop below for you guys. Okay, I think I'm going to cut it to where this little guy, yeah, I'm sorry you guys. Right there. That way, I don't know what to hold up so that you can see. That way, the pattern on here, you see these ovals? There's a little bitty, um, like a little flower almost in between, and so I cut it right at the edge of that. So now let's 
bring the lace out. Oh, look at that, and it's going to work just perfect. Okay. I like this. I like it a lot. Okay. So, if we if we glue it up here, then I think we're going to have to glue it down the center. Hmm. Okay. This takes glue really well. I've glued over this ribbon before. You don't have to put on very much at all for that lace. In fact, I think I'm pretty sure I'm putting on about four times as much as I need. Okay. I'm going to put this on right here. And if we're quick, If I had been ready, you could have almost, almost glued the flat back pearls on here. Let's do this. Lots of dinging going on, huh? Okay. So we're going to put this on here. that okay and that works out well there's a little string here works out well if you can cut it right at the end of a pearl that's always nice yeah see there's almost enough glue to hold it down told you if I was quick there was quite a bit of glue there it's there I like that now we're gonna rinse and repeat same thing right at the edge of the circle I don't know how I ended up so lucky. It must have been the um, the measurements. Oh, this time I should learn my lesson, huh, and have the pearls ready. Okay, first I want to trim the little strings off from where I cut it off on the other side. It's really hard. I can't show you the strings on camera. They're just way too small. But it's these two little strings that run through here that hold the pearls together. So I'm going to run this out, get my piece the right size. Hopefully five and a half inches is an even number that these will work out. Yep. So we're going to do that. Put that over there. enough glue on there I can do both I'm quick about it and 
Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a little bit of a kind of a decorative edge on the top. Let me stretch this out. Let's get the pearls on there. decorate the card. Now I was thinking that since the card's going to hang over the top here that we need to, um, yeah see that's not going to be too bad. It's going to pop up a little bit. Um, if we don't jam it in there it'll be less. Um, I was thinking about decorating across the top of the card just like this. And after we're done off camera, I may um, I may do the other side. So what do you guys think? Across the top of the card. Yes, I think so. kind of funny when I'm recording. I'm always listening to something because um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh, tinnitus, you know, where somebody's ears ring all the time. Well, uh, my ears ring all the time. It's part of the reason I talk loud. Oh, and I cut that just a little bit short, didn't I? I can cover it with the lace. This is the bottom layer. Um, so I usually have something on, you know, music or TV or audiobooks. I like to listen to audiobooks. I don't know why I'm putting the ink on here. I mean the glue on here. Okay. Anyway, so I always have something on, but right now when I'm not speaking, which I obviously realize is rare, but um when I'm not speaking, all I can hear is mm. <laughs> and I don't even think it's in the right key. Uh, you know, for the song that's stuck in my head. Which is a Beatles song. A little bit. That way it's a little bit short on both ends. So I can cover it up. And I'm moving this to where the top of the ribbon is even with the top of the card. But I don't want to go too far over because I don't want it to make a problem when the card opens and closes. Let's cut our ribbon here, our lace. We definitely want to make sure this is long enough. So we got to cover up that little bit of an issue with our, with our ribbon. It's not going to cut a whole new ribbon for an eighth of an inch, especially when I'm putting lace over the top of it. All right, let's get our pearls ready. I think we're going to be shabby in it up. I don't think I'll get in trouble with Miss P when I should take a picture of this. don't forget that's Miss Paint a lot. This is her idea, her 30 day challenge. I'm just showing you how I'm doing mine. You know what I mean? It's not the same as um, she's doing hers. 
Hers is unique, mine's unique. Just using the same prompts and the same paper. Well, not the same paper, but the same designer, paper designer. Okay. That looks like it'll do it. We haven't even gotten to the butterflies yet. You guys excited about the butterflies? <laughs> the flutterbys? Sorry about that. Time for me to take my medicine. In case you're wondering. Okay, let's get these on there real quick. I have lots of noises going on. I shouldn't have my phone right here. Um, but I do, like I said, I'm trying to keep track of someone. Wow, that didn't sound good. It sounded like I was stalking them or something. Okay. So now we've got that done. So all three of these are decorated. I like that. Now, the thing is, we put our cards in these two anyway we've got them stamped on the back okay and then we've got this giant butterfly to put on I've inked it put the pin back in this so it doesn't come unraveled everywhere oh I know I'm putting the pins in too, too straight and it's too dense. Now I'm going to poke my finger on that one. <laughs> now this one I'm just going to glue his body and just a little bit on his wings because his body's not very big and then that way I can kind of poof his wings up a little bit. You guys have seen the way I do butterflies before. Don't do them all that way but I do a lot of them that way. with a lot of glue okay now do I want to put him like this do I want to put him like this why do I why does this way always seem better you guys ever notice that that direction always seems better for a butterfly for a flutterby okay now I'm just gonna leave him to dry before I mess with his wings or anything they're already kind of sticking up as you can see so I'm gonna set him over here to dry I've got one more little butterfly and the little butterfly goes right down here. So wonder if I don't really have anything right next to me. Gosh darn it. I think I'm gonna wait. The butterfly's gonna go here but I'm gonna wait and maybe put a little uh, cluster underneath them. Kind of jazz it up a little bit. So um, let's set him to the side. We'll pretend like uh, like he's on there, but just know he's going to go there and there's going to be a little cluster around him. And uh, you'll see it in the final photo at uh, Miss Painlot's Facebook group and you'll see it at the end of this video because I'll pause it and I'll go get some papers and come back and um, oh, and then I'll come back and do it. That's what I'll do um, because we have to pause again anyway. So uh, let me uh, let me do that, and then um, we will be back. See? Okay, we're back. Part three of day one. Wow, I've got these little scrappy doos here. Um, I'm thinking, and I've got these little scraps of ribbon. I can always cut off another little piece. I think I might, and. Um, Maybe a little piece of the lace. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I'm not very good at clusters. Um, I 
stop talking because I think my dog is doing something again. He got sick earlier and he's just acting very odd and he's getting into things. Let's try this. How big is our butterfly? Yeah, we don't want to overdo it. That piece looks a little bit big. Put him there. Put this there. Maybe the ribbon on top here. Like that. Maybe a little teeny weeny piece of the lace. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. You guys will have to teach me about cluster making. I just poked myself with the pin, just like I said I was going to. Just wanted to let you know, because apparently I'm psychic. You know, I almost like... All right, let's get it how we like it, and then we'll glue it top down. I do know that. I do think I kind of like that. All right, let's glue the butterfly. We're going to glue him first, and then we're just going to glue all the way down. That way you don't have to take it apart and try to remember. Look at that. Grabbed both. Now all I have to do is glue these onto here. Yes, I'm not very happy with the way that ribbon came out. Little bit out the top, little bit out the bottom. Wonder, can we stick some more under there? Or is that is less more? Because it's going in a different direction. We have the lace over there. I think I'm going to stick it in there to kind of balance it a little bit. I, I know you're not supposed to balance clusters, but come on, people. <laughs> it's Terry we're talking about here, right? There's no notes, by the way, for any of these. I'm doing all of these on the fly. Wow. I guess that was a good glue string, huh? Good thing I was trying to get rid of it. I have glue everywhere, in case you're wondering. It's all over my fingers. Looks like a proper cluster. I should have inked the paper. Let me try to do that before I put it down. You should be able to. You should be able to write the errors of my ways. least enough to make it look like I did it. It's a little damp right there. Okay. 
and put him on there. And then I think all we'll have to do is um, glue this paper to our book page paper. And we will be able to call it a day. Which is a good thing because we're at an hour and I don't know how many minutes. An hour and six minutes. Okay, get that little puppy glued down. Get this stuff out of the way while it sticks there. We never ended up using these. Okay. Those scraps out of the way. Get our ribbon. Look at me cleaning while the glue is drying on that. Right now, let me get the glue off my fingers here a little bit. See, it's all over my hands. Okay, now we got our Mr. Black instead of Mr. Green. We're going to put this on here like this. And we're going to put our card. Oh yeah, we have to flap it over because of our big butterfly. And put our, butter, our card right here. Oh, I think that's going to be nice. We can even move it over a little bit. So you can see that butterfly too. Okay, let's take this back out again. I think it turned out good since I'm even though I'm not very good at shabby chic I probably could run a piece of lace across there I don't know I can do it once it's on the page so I'll have to look at it um, it does look a little barren up there now um, I don't know If I run a piece of the ribbon though, dare I say that's too much? Hmm. No, everything else the top has a ribbon. Okay. We're not done yet. I thought we were done, but we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. Here, I can run it off just a little bit if I need to, and then trim it when I get it glued. Make sure I have enough. Got this down to a system, huh? I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm having fun doing this. Um, even though I'm not very sure about this. I'm not sure it's shabby enough. But um, it's very chic. <laughs> this end isn't quite straight. So let's put this as the end to trim off. Let's make sure our ribbon is straight. Oops. Okay, there we go. Yep, looking good. Okay, now we need our lace and our pearls. Me and this pin, huh? Just keep going round and round. Oh yeah, this looks a lot better. Okay. I 
there. And let's get our pearls ready. Double check. Looks pretty with just the ribbon, doesn't it? But it's not shabby. Okay. Let's put our glue down the middle. Get ready for the glue fest. This would almost stand on its own, wouldn't it? Without being glued to the book. Can you hear that ribbon noise? <laughs> We're going to call it the ribbon noise. It sounded like a bumblebee. Okay, need that up just a little bit. on here ASAP P for pearls oh as soon as pearl as soon as pearlable there we go well I think that was a good decision I don't know about you guys but I think that works out better and let's give this a, just a second this away this up there not sure why I will put our lace away while it's drying here we go okay let's get Mr. Black back I think that full size page will work. I may have to do a double like that every time, whether it's white or what, you know what I mean? The double with the eight and a half by 11 and then the um, kit paper because it's not gonna, otherwise it's gonna be a really big edge all the way around. Okay, let's put our glue on. Let's get our glue on. waiting on the air bubble there we go he is doing something I think he's trying to get in the cabinet he's being a very bad boy today he was sick so I felt bad for him but now I'm getting a little aggravated <laughs> do that in the corner so I can smear it around Let's get it matched up in the corner here move it over just a little bit okay that turned out pretty well Get her all glued down. Our lovely roses. 
little butterflies. And our card with the butterfly. There we go. Remember if we don't push it in all the way, then it doesn't stick up so far. There we go. Butterflies. Okay, that's the page. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And um, I think it turned out really nice. And uh, especially for the much as much trouble as it gave me in my brain when it turned out being a very simple page to do. And um, I will see you in the next video. Um, this is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers, just to remind you in case you forgot. And I will see you in the next video. And uh, that's going to be just a second for you and a day for me. Alrighty, bye bye.